say my uh, never-ending quest to improve video quality I have purchased or recently purchased a uh, Polar Pro macro lens for the GoPro and what does that mean in plain English it means that um, I can now use the GoPro for macro both macro photography and video not exactly perhaps like a proper DSLR camera but uh, because believe well we can't escape GoPros you know action camera nature but we can try to uh, extract as much as we can from it in terms of uh, a cinematic look to uh, look to our videos so in trying to uh, achieve that I bought Polar Pro's uh, macro lens for the GoPro uh, the Hero 6 in this case and uh, well, so the purpose of this was <coughs> Uh, so it, it's, it has a very restricted uh, usability, really, so you, you can't do much with it other than uh, close-up shots of your video subject or photography subject, but uh, that's what I want, really. Uh, I want to be able to uh, do extreme close-ups of, um, of details of motorcycles uh, when I do the test rides. And the GoPro is okay, you can get relatively close to the subject without the image getting uh, out of focus. But um, with this, uh, as you will see uh, in a few seconds in uh, some sample footage that I did, um, but with this you can get really, really close to, um, to the camera, or oh, sorry, to the subject. It's very, very easy to, uh, to uh, use. You just take the lens, you clip it on the, um, on the lens cover on the GoPro, and there you go. So anything that's within four to uh, six, uh, four to twelve, I think, fourteen inches um, from the lens will be in focus. Everything else will be out of focus, and that's nice because um, as well because if it, you can't really with um, GoPro's uh, wide angle lens uh, and um, and very very. Um, uh, with a huge dip depth of field, I don't know, narrow and wide depth of field, that's the word, uh, you can't really get things in focus and out of focus uh, on your footage and you can't isolate your subject that well uh, from the rest of the, of the scene. So um, yeah, with this, well, I hope that uh, the footage will, uh, will be kind of self-explanatory, with this you can do that. So yeah, just uh, stick around and uh, watch the uh, footage that I did with the Polar Pro macro lens for the GoPro. That was the footage that I did with uh, the Polar Pro macro lens for the GoPro. Well, yeah, on some of it, you can see that uh, on one of the one of the kind of blocks of footage, it was um, kind of rainy weather. It wasn't actually rainy, but it had rain, so it was uh, kind of overcast. Uh, and uh, and on the other block of video uh, footage, it was sun and bright. It's or sunny and bright, sorry, uh, and and this to say that it works. I think it worked really well in, on both occasions. And um, so on both occasions, I was using GoPro's uh, color profile, and on the f and on both, I was doing so on the first block of images, the one that's kind of overcast. I was shooting at uh, 1080p, 240 frames per second. So uh, this video is edited in a 24 frame per second um, timeline, 
and uh, so I'm playing that 10 times slower than the uh, original speed and the second block um, of footage was shot at 2.7k 60 frames per second so it's I'm doing roughly uh, two point something times slower than um, normal speed so I think it turned out well uh, and uh, so I'm really really expecting to use this uh, on my uh, on my next uh, text ride oh sorry on my test ride video so well yeah I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, if you have please smash that like button and uh, don't forget to comment, share, subscribe, all the usual social nonsense, and I'll see you on my next video. Until then, ta-ra!